Good morning. Hope you're doing well today as we start a new day in the Lord. I pray you're excited about what today may hold for us as we live for Jesus Christ. And, you know, we're living in a world today where a lot of people do not have peace in their life when it is possible to have peace. I know this world around us is in full of turmoil and wars and rumors of wars and all kinds of things going on. But the Lord has promised us that with him and through him, we can have peace. And that's what I want to speak to you a moment of today. And I found in Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And it says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Justification through faith brings the believer various things. One is peace with God. And Jesus said, I give you a peace, not as the world gives you a peace. The peace of the world is temporary. But the peace that Jesus gives us is there to stay. Because, you know, peace and joy is not based upon your circumstances. Happiness is, but not peace and joy. That comes from God that he puts deep within our heart. There used to be a bumper sticker that said, no God, no peace. N-O, N-O, no God, no peace. No, K-N-O-W, no God and no peace. You see, that little sticker, bumper sticker, is absolutely true. N-O, no God in your life, no peace. But when you know God and he is in your life, you can have peace that passes all understanding. Christian counselors say that the pe a lot of people show up to them, and one of the main reasons they're in uh, the situation they're in is because they have no peace about the things that are going on around them. It says today that says justification brings the believer various results, and the first one is peace with God. Then we have the grace of God. We have the hope that is found in God. We have the assurance that he is always with us, that he never leaves us, that he knows what we have need of and is able to meet our needs. And it says also that tribulations are going to come, yes, but the love of God, this Holy Spirit, brings us through these trials and our troubles and our tribulations because we serve them. We can have peace that God is always with us. He will never leave us. We have the assurance of our salvation today. We have the reconciliation to God. And we know today that by living for God, we have the, the, uh, the affirmation that we're always going to be with him and that one day we're going to go be with him forevermore in heaven. But while we're here, we can have peace in our life. And with folks today, I pray that you know God and, I, and that you have that peace. But if you're lost today, you don't have that assurance, that peace that passes all understanding. The only way you can get it today, my sinner friend, is to confess that you're a sinner Ask Jesus into your heart, tell him you know that he is the Son of God and you believe he came and was buried and rose again from the dead. We, and, and the blood shed upon Calvary will cover our sins. You don't have to name him. He knows him. Just say, Lord, I am a sinner. I confess that I need you in my life. And you can have that peace that he tells us passes all understanding. And folks, there's nothing like it that when the world all around you is falling apart, you're in the peace of God. And you have the strength that God gives us to get through these times of trials and troubles. God, I thank you this morning for your promise that by knowing you, we can know peace. We can have that peace in our heart and our life that gives us the strength to get through anything that comes our way. I pray that those that may hear this and don't know you will give their life to you, that they can have that peace. And those that do know you can be assured that that peace will always be with us. You'll never leave us and forsake us, but you'll go all the way it says to the end. In Jesus' name I pray today, amen. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.